Hello guys, Code Havocs here, back with another video. So in this one, I'm going to be showing you how to embed your Metasploit Android payload with a normal APK. So let's get started. So we're going to get into desktop. And over here, we got a via browser. So this is the one that we're going to be, use, we're going to be using to um, embed our Metasploit payload into. So this is going to be the first command. So I'm going to be showing you right now the first method, which is going to be method number one. So this is done automatically with the MSF Venoms feature. So here we're going to look for the ifconfig, and that's that's our local IP address. So we're going to paste it here. So L port, which is going to be 4422, and the output file you can name anything you want, but make sure to end the extension with dot apk in this case. So, so I'm going to name it binded payload apk and then I'm going to hit enter. So I'm going to hit enter now. So you need to use the option X for for doing it through the MSF Venom. But this method may not work on every uh, normal APKs. You might need the me second method that I'm going to be showing you. So this was the first method. So that went okay, but that's not really um, you know binded properly. I don't think this method actually is better in case of embedding the payload of MSF into another APK. So we're going to try method number two now. So this is going to be through APK tool. So we're going to first decompile via browser as you can see on the screen. So, so these are the options that you got to put. And it's going to be our via browser, the decompiled folder, which is going to be. So the next step, we're going to uh, create an Android payload, a normal MSF payload for Android. So this is going to be our payload, Android Metropolitan Reverse TCP. And localhost will be the same. So we're going to paste it and then L port, which is going to be 4422 as well. And the output name of the file will be payload.abk. Just to make it clear. So once that is done, generating the payload, now we're going to decompile it as well, just like via browser, just like what we did now through APK tool. So this is the same command, just you're going to change the name to payload to apk. So the decompile folder name is going to be payload, just payload, because it's a directory. So now that it's done, as you can see, we got both payload and via browser, which are both decompiled directories of each. So over here, what we're going to do is um, click on payload folder and the via browser. So in the decompile folders, the first thing we are supposed to do is get into this location, and we're going to just just to show you again. So this is going to be place where we're going to put our Metasploit payload, since it already had the folder name com. So we're just putting what's inside. So now that it's done, okay. The next thing we're going to do is open terminal over in that location of via browser decompile folder. And we're going to edit the Android Manifest XML. So over here, it's simple. Don't be confused. What we're going to do is we're going to inject the permissions. So we need to take out the folder, decompile folder of payload, and open it with Mosepad. So, so we're going to now edit the Android Manifest XML file of payload, which is the MSF payload. So here we're going to I'm going to switch sites and I'm going to copy all the permissions from the payloads and Android Manifest XML. And I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it in between the permissions of this via browser. So now that is done. We have, we, are, we have successfully injected all the permissions that we need. Now nothing to do here. So we're just going to quit both the text files. The next thing we're going to do is, um, let's see. So it's going to be um, so this Mali folder. So the, here is where we're going to uh, get into this location. And there's the activity folder. And then here we got the main activity, which is the browser activity.smally. And once here, just click on on create. 
and search brown create once you're done below invoke super you need to paste the code so this code i'm gonna um put it in the description so make sure you check it out if you in case if you're looking to test on how to do it so that's the that's that's where it's located the desktop so this is going to be the code that we're going to copy it so we're going to paste it in this line all right that should be good to go make sure to save them once you're once you've done all the pasting so now we have successfully injected the code into our main activity of via browser so this folder all we just need to do now is use apk tool to uh, build it in other words um recompile if you, if you can understand what i'm saying and this is going to be uh we're going to give it a new name so we're just going to via browser ready dot apk so this will be the output file of the recompilation and once you uh, also make sure to use this java command and dash jar and the jar file name which i'm going to be putting the resources link in the description as well so here remove that i just dragged the location of the via browser ready .apk. so once you've signed successfully all you just need to do is copy it into our var www wshtml on the download folder which i've created and i'm going to type the password now that is done what we're going to do now is we're going to start our apache server in order to download it locally so this is going to be the ip address of uh of the apache server so it's running in port 80. now we're going to type msf console just to get our listener listener prepared so that it connects into the phone once the uh, payload is successfully executed in the mobile device so set payload android interpreter reverse tcp and for the other things you just type show option and we're missing l host so we're going to paste it so this is going to be same l host and for the l port it's 4422 if you can remember and we're going to run over here what we're going to do is um, we're going to type the local ip address of the apache server and the download folder so down there you can see that's the one so we're going to download it now open the apk file which has been injected so we're going to open it up as you can see on the site on cal linux we've got the connection back so if you check on sysinfo this is the same Android device, which is Android 10. Also, additionally, what you can do is you can also edit the APK tool the YML file just before recompiling. So, here in the target SDK version, just change it to 22. So, with this, you'll be able to gain even more privileges from the Android device. Make sure to save it and exit. No, no, try to recompile it. So, now it's recompiling. So once that is done, our via browser uh, underscore old dot apk is ready. So we're going to type the password and send it to vordw.html. Now that is done, our Apache server too is already running. So the only thing that we need to do now is get inside that server, the local server that we're hosting the payload in. So we're going to get to the download folder. So over here, we're going to select the last one and download it so we're going to download the last one here we're going to click and click on ok so we're going to open it up and install so when we open it this time as you can see just with the continue button every every privilege that is in there with the permissions you're able to access it into our interpreter session of metasploit so as you can see the list of commands that you can use now 